way. Is that a pompano? Dude, look at the size of the pump. Woo! What's up, guys? Uh, we're out here. Beats Access 6. Sorry, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm using my phone. I'm not, it's on the chest mount. I've been ca I wasn't going to record tonight. Um, I don't know, hopefully you can see the, the rod. It's already been going off. I wasn't going to record tonight since we got out here so late. Uh, we're camping out, me and the wife. Um, but I threw a line out with some fish bites, and I've been getting hit nonstop. Uh, a couple catfish and nothing but really, really big whiting. I mean, I'm talking big, big whiting. So um, I figured I'd try to record and see how it turns out. Something messing with the line right now. Just waiting for a bigger hit. Um, come back to you guys once we're hooked up, right? All right, guys. Nothing crazy. Just some fish bites, double dropper rig, like we've always done. The current's not too bad since it's very low tide, so I'm just using a three ounce weight. Uh, just a pyramid sinker, no spider sinker. Just on my, I think this is a six and a half foot uh, old school ugly stick with an old school Shakespeare on it. It's an old, my oldest rod and reels. One of them, my oldest rod and reels. It's tried and true. You've seen it probably in every video I've had. I use it for literally everything, so. It's good for catching bait. It's good for catching just about anything, so hopefully we'll get another big whiting here. Maybe we can get one, maybe small enough to put on the bigger rod so we can catch a redfish, because with the big full moon like that, can't go wrong. Something messing with it already, so. Hopefully it takes you to get a big hit like before. Whatever it was, it took a solid hit. I think I left too much hanging off the hook, so it just grabbed onto that and ran with it, but didn't get hooked, so. Fingers crossed. Moving around a little bit. I think it's just a small guy nipping at it. But man, I've caught, the, the other whiting I pulled in before I started filming were solid, close to 20 inches. They were, and they were fat too, so they were pulling some drag for a little bit before I had to tighten it up. But the fish is awesome right now. There it is right now. You guys gotta come out here. It's Easter weekend. Um, we got, honestly, I thought we were, it was going to be bad trying to get a spot, but I'm really glad things cleared up after we got over the bridge. And uh, yeah, really glad we were able to get a solid spot above the high tide line. It's so perfect tonight. Full moon, perfect uh, temperature. There's a nice breeze coming in. So uh, look at the water. Something's heavy on it. I'm going to go and mess with it. Helped out getting stuck. Get unstuck. Every time I turn the camera off or I stop recording, something big hits it. Or at least I get a good tug. I think it's just something small. There we go. There you go. Hopefully, you guys got that. I'm going to do one more. Okay, there we go. I think he's on because they got the line to go slack. Get one more pull out of him. Make sure he's on there. Yep, okay, let's go ahead. Hopefully you guys can see okay. Yep, he's on there. Just gonna get out to the, closer to the uh, sandbar. When I get him close, I'll you know, get back to him. Saw a little fight. A couple of, couple of runs here and here and then, but nothing too crazy. I'm just waiting for the, uh, he's right there in front of me. There he goes, just pulled a little bit. Waiting for a wave to help me pull him in because it's pretty shallow right here. It's not even ankle deep. Hey, hopefully you guys see that. Let me get him right here. Come on. Looks like it's a big whiting. Hopefully. Or is it just a... I don't know. It's a little... It's a normal size guy. I'll take it though. He's got one fish for the vid. To prove I didn't get skunked. <laughs> Uh, this guy's small compared to what we were. Oh, I was getting a little while ago. Can't complain. To so unhook these guys is real easy. I find it easier to grab them from the bottom. You pinch their gills closed. That way they don't move so much. And he's barely on there, but that circle hook 
did a perfect job. Comes right out, easy. Pretty little fish. Oop, all right. Pretty little fish. Can't go wrong with that guy. Make sure I get in the frame right. All right, let's get him back. All right, hold on. It's real shallow right here. I don't want to put him too shallow. She gets on out of here. Yep. There he goes. And he's out of here. Let's get another one, boys. This guy's already on there. It's, I was funneling with the fast flash right now. He hit it immediately. I, I, I sent it straight out this time instead of off to the right, and it was hit immediately as soon as I put it in the uh, in the rod holder. So let's see what it is. It's probably another whiting. Hopefully a little bit bigger. This one's been pulling a lot harder and more often. So let me walk out again. Let's go through this process one more time. Sorry about that, I got him close here. Got him right here. Oh, no way. Is that a pompano? Dude, look at the size of the pump. Woo! Yo! Look at the size of this pompano. Holy crap, this is my first pompano in years. I'm talking years. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. This guy didn't fight as, as much as I thought he was going to. Let me see. How do I hold this guy? Oh, look at the colors on this guy. Got a real soft mouth. Oh, man. That is a beautiful pompano. Oh, Jesus. That's a solid one, too. Is it a pompano? It's got to be a Texas pompano. That is awesome, guys. Holy crap. Let's get it back in the water. You revive him just a little bit right here. That's good bait, but I'm not gonna use anything right now tonight, so. Dude. Oh man, hopefully there's more of you guys hanging out. Dude, that's awesome. That's literally the first pop I've had in years. And that's a beautiful, solid size one for here in Texas. I'm sure they get a lot bigger, but they're not definitely not as big as they get in Florida, so. All right, let's get him back in the water. Where'd he go? There he goes. He's out of here. Awesome. Sweet. Woo. New species down, at least for here on the channel. That's awesome. Never in a thousand years did I think, what's that? Oh, nothing. Never in a thousand years did I think I was gonna get a, bit flo a, a pompano out here. That's awesome. I hope that was a pompano. I know it's not a permit. It definitely wasn't a permit, because permit are giant. And I don't think there's any around here in Texas, at least I'm dead I know of. The fish bites does it again. Solid pompano. Oh, that's so awesome. Let's get out there and let's try to get another one. Hopefully there's a bigger one hanging out. This is, uh, I'm sorry, you know, the filming's not gonna be great. I'll tell you right now, but this is a pretty heavy fish. It's not a pretty heavy fish, but it's probably the heaviest one I've got tonight by the way it feels. I'm not even feeling that three ounce weight on the bottom anymore, so I'm just feeling the fish fighting. He's not fighting a lot, but he's definitely, I don't feel that weight anymore. And it's just a steady tug. There's nothing going, there's nothing crazy going on. Hopefully it's still on there, actually. I think I just got fooled. Oh no, he's on there. He's kicking a little bit. That's a good hit. That, that's a solid one now, actually. Let's go, boys. Let's get him in, let's get him in. Yeah, that's a solid little tug. All right, there we go. He woke up now. He woke up now. There we go, pulling a little bit of drag. He woke up now. He's awake now. There we go. Come on. He's right here in front of me. Oh, that's it. Come on now. What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you? It's a big whiting. This is one of those big whiting. Oh, I foul hooked him, that's why. Oh no, did I foul hook him? No. Oh, he swallowed the hook though. 
I may be able to get that out. Alligator uh, chompers to the rescue here. See, he's a solid. He's a really big whiting, bigger than I care to that I normally catch. Let me see if I can. Right, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna try to get this uh, hook out of him. Give me a few seconds here. There we go, got it, perfect. Looks like he's gonna make it. Uh, put these in my pocket, okay. Sorry guys, my, my camera angle, when I have my phone like this, I'm not used to it being a little bit offset to the left. But yeah, man, this is a big, oop, all right. These are the big whiting that I've been catching earlier. Glad I was able to get one on camera. This is a smaller one, but this is, you know, up there around that size, sitting around, uh, that's about 15 or so inches, 16 maybe. If I keep catching a bunch of these, I'm definitely gonna use a couple for cut bait, so let's get this guy back in the water. Oh, all right. You gonna make it, bud? Oh, yeah, he swam off, I saw him. Ooh, that water's starting to get a little chilly. Let's get back out there. So I think I decided the, the next two whiting I'm gonna, uh, I get, I'm gonna keep for cut bait tomorrow. That way, you know, I don't have to do this in the early morning. I'm sure the fishing will still be fine in the early morning, but I'd rather still have cut bait on hand just in case. Um, something's already hitting this thing. Line went slack a little bit. I'm waiting for him to take a better, a better pull at it. I'd like something a little bit smaller than that one I got. Um, there's a hit right there. That one I just got. So about half of that size would be perfect. Two of those would be, that'd be perfect and I'm gonna call it a night. All right guys, I uh, went to go grab a cold one while this one sat and it's all the way to the right now. So something was pulling on it. Uh, let's go and check out what it is. I got some decent tugs on it. Uh, let's get this guy in. Definitely, most likely, if it's a whiting, gonna keep this one. That way I just have some bait for tomorrow, for sure. And I'll toss one more out there and leave it out. Hopefully get something decent while I work on my other rod and reels to get ready for tomorrow. Oh, such a nice night out. Give me a few moments while I get this guy in. All right, guys, looks like he is the perfect size that I was looking for. A little bit smaller than the last one I got. Definitely bait. Awesome. Let's get this guy in the ice box. Oh, circle K. Got some ice in there. All right. See you in the morning. See you in the morning, buddy. Tide is already starting to come in. This, my rod wasn't in the water at all. And my little sandbar right here I have going, my little pool is starting to move up past itself. So, yeah, we're going to start bringing it in. I think I have another fish on there. I'm gonna let it sit for a few more minutes. Uh, put the other fish in the ice box. Get this guy in, get him in the ice, and just get set up for tomorrow. All right guys, bringing this last one in. Let it sit out there for a little bit longer. Uh, I didn't think anything was on it until I started bringing it up right here, so. There's a little whiting on it. Yep, another perfect size. Just the same exact size as the one I just got. Um, he's definitely gonna go in the, in the cooler for bait. That's gonna be it for tonight. All right, guys, well, the fish bites definitely did wonders today. I had an older one, that's what these orange ones are. I had the newer pink ones and they were you know, working as well. But these ones have been sitting in my tackle box for months and months and months since the fall. Um, work just fine as well so hey fish bites are good no matter no matter when you use them so awesome well thanks guys thanks for watching i appreciate it uh hope to see you guys real soon uh definitely gonna be filming tomorrow morning super excited just you know my messy truck bed that's what happens when you come out here fishing you just get the essentials cooler full of beer bait box your tackle box and your bunch of rods and reels got the big rod right here getting set up. I'm gonna set everything up here in a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna record a little bit just in case you guys don't know how to, just simple fishing knots and whatnot, whatnot. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I know 
the filming's not going to be that great just due to the uh, due to me first time in, you know fish uh, filming at night. But at least I had a nice full moon. It's a be you know it's a beautiful night. Low tide, so the fishing was great. So it really worked out. But uh, I'll see you guys in the morning.